Hi, my name is Chris Kearns and I am the Regional Manager for Altus Consulting UK. Today I would like to do a quick demonstration of a Power BI report that we have created for a fictitious university called Londonshire University. I'm going to go through a few things in this demonstration. I'm going to cover off a few of the data visualization best practices that we include, that we teach in our data visualization best practices course. I'm going to demonstrate some drill through reports. I'm going to show how we've embedded this report within a client facing website. I'm going to show row level security and also how we've been able to write back from this report using a power app to include commentary live in the report. So let's get started. Putting, my, putting ourselves in the position of a vice chancellor or the head of marketing or heads of departments at, at the Londonshire University, all of those people are very interested in the cumulative applications or the cumulative admissions as we move through the academic year. And to that reason, we have used our prime real estate, the top left here, to show those cumulative applications over the course of the academic year. The current academic year, or the latest one, is the dark grey, and then we've used lighter greys to represent older years or prior years. We can see if we use this slider and I, I move back in time that the entire report will refresh and we will see that the current academic year line will move backwards in time to reflect that. There it is, and I can drag that back to show the full year. You'll notice the rest of the report filters as well when we do that. You can see that we've got um, some KPI cards down the bottom here. 7,271 is our cumulative applications to date for the current academic year. And we haven't met our goal, so we've shown that in red. But to cater for those who aren't able to perceive red or green so well, We've also included a visual indicator, an exclamation mark to show that we haven't met that goal. You'll see that where we have met goal, it's blue and it is accompanied by a tick. We've also included some other data visualization best practices in so much as this report is very neutral in color. It's mostly different shades of gray. Where we have used color, it's because we are using it intentionally to call out things. For example, you'll see here that some of our courses. Uh, there's the applications, but we can see the year on year percent growth has gone backwards for some of our courses and we've shown those as red. Again, for those who might be visually impaired, we are also showing the numbers here so the numbers can be read in addition to the colors being shown. You can also see here that our departments have a year on year growth and for some of the departments we have a red circle. And you might think, why is that a red circle when I can see that each of the courses has grown year on year? And that is because we're surfacing some, we want to surface some additional information. So if I hover over medical sciences, we're using a custom tooltip to surface the fact that there are two courses, dentistry and medicine, that have gone backwards year on year within that department. So we're showing that without people having to drill through to more detail. A couple of other data visualization best practices we're using. We've used a visual header tooltip on all of our visuals to provide some specific help on that visual. In fact, you can see that it provides some help about the little red circle within that. Another one is if I hover over this question mark up here, it's showing some report metadata. So that's neatly tucked away. People can then see who owns the report from a technical and business perspective, what the data source is, and when the data was last refreshed. This question mark is a dual purpose thing. We can also click on it and it's now going to show a translucent overlay to provide some further help about all the different visuals on this report. So that's a quick look at some of the data visualization best practices we've employed. Quick look at drill through. If I want to explore medical sciences further, we've got our custom tooltip, but we can also right click and drill through to look at departmental analysis for medical sciences only. It's going to show us a bunch more metrics that the head of medical sciences, for example, might be interested in. They may also want to then right click and drill through and look at the underlying applicants for the item that I just clicked on and, and see that in more detail. We've got our nice easy navigation to take us back up through the levels of the report or drill back up. And there we go. Let's 
This is, I'm showing this report within the Power BI service. I'm going to now flick over and look at this same report, which is embedded within a client facing website. In this case, it's our London Shi University web portal. You can see it's the same report, very similar functionality. We've got our custom tool tips, et cetera. We're also able to share this with our outside external clients by using a Azure service called Power BI Embedded. You can Google that to check that out in more detail. But one thing I wanted to show was that we're using row level security to control what people can look at when they access this report. So imagine in your organization, people securely log in from outside of your organization to your uh, through your client portal. And once they're in there, we can then access their user ID. I'm going to simulate logging on as Jensen George, who's the head of our medical sciences team. Our Power BI report's going to pick up that user ID automatically when they log in. And you'll see that at the top here when it finishes refreshing, we'll see that Jensen George is now logged in. And you'll see that the report has filtered to only show the data that Jensen is able to see, which is medical sciences. So we've used row level security to achieve that level of filtering so that our clients can only see the data that is pertinent to them. So that's a quick look at embedding the report in an external website and row level security. The last thing I want to show is right back. For the keen eyed among you, if you looked at medical sciences custom tooltip, you may have noticed a comment added today by myself saying, but medical sciences isn't going so well, not going so well. Let's now click on medical sciences. So we're filtering on that department in the report. And let's click on this custom button we've created up here. It's now launching a Power App. A Power, Power Apps is part of the Power Platform product of tools, the same as Power BI. And you can see that it's automatically filtered for the latest academic year. It's automatically filtered for Medical Sciences, which is the one that I was already clicked on. And we can add a new comment saying needs attention. I'm going to click Submit. You'll see up here that the Power App is, well, it's already done its thing. The Power App has written the data back to the underlying data source, which in this case happens to be an Azure SQL DB database, but it could be a SharePoint list. It could be a number of different data sources. I'm going to click this to make the Power App disappear. And when we hover over the Medical Sciences Department now, that Comment is refreshing from the underlying data source, and voila, you can see that it says need, needs attention. That is automatically picked it up in real time from our underlying data source. So we've used a Power App to allow, to allow real time right back of commentary to our underlying data source and then reflecting that live in the report. So that's a quick summary of our London Shi University report built in Power BI. I showcase some of our data visualization best practices. You can check out our training course on that if you're looking for to learn those skills. I've showcased drill through reporting, embedding reports using Power BI embedded, row level security, and write back. If you would like some more information on any of this, please feel free to get in contact with me. Chris K, C H R I S K, at altisglobal, A L T I S global.co.uk. Thanks for watching.